pretty solid. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> In this video, I want to talk to you guys about building a strong half wall. It's going to be sturdy and not wobble. We typically see half walls at stair openings, replacing railings and balusters. We sometimes see them as separations between rooms to open things up. And we see them in bathrooms, and especially in our remodeling projects, we use half walls a lot with glass on top in the shower, and that allows more light in. So whether you call it a half wall, a knee wall, or a pony wall, the issue is the same they tend to wobble. And that can cause client callback and complaints. Nobody wants a wobbly wall, cracked plaster, or worse yet, shower tile that cracks as a result from wall movement. So, what is the best way to reinforce or build a strong half wall? Well, re reinforcing a half wall can be accomplished easily if the floor joists run perpendicular to the half wall. In this instance, all you do is you simply run your wall studs, your half wall studs straight down alongside the joists and attach them to the floor framing. Super secure and solid. This method requires that the subfloor is open from the top so you can work below or the ceiling is open from below so you can work above. So the question is how many wall studs would you attach from that half wall? Well, you could do this on every single stud, wall stud, to hit the joist or every single joist I should say, or just a few. Uh, you can attach each 2x4 stud to the floor joist or to blocking. We can talk about blocking in a minute. With construction adhesive and 3-inch structural screws. I use like GRK screws. If the floor framing is running parallel to your half wall and the wall happens to line up with the floor joist, or you can make it line up with the floor joist, then you can simply run plywood, half inch or three quarter, right down the face of the wall, right down over the floor joist, glue and screw it, and boom, solid. If you need more support or you need additional blocking, you can add blocking to either side of those wall studs coming down. And basically that's gonna give you additional lateral support from the two by blocking. And it's gonna keep the, uh, it's gonna take the stress off the structural screws and really add stiffness to that whole stud. Um, look, that's a common method that we use in deck framing, exterior deck framing with our four by four posts. We use blocking to kind of lock that in. As far as blocking goes for um, between joists, sometimes the joists don't run in our favor and you have to add two by blocking, two by eight, 10, 12, to better position the blocking so that you can run that stud down and hit the block. In this case, use the two by blocking and joist hangers. So add them with joist hangers and that's gonna ensure a really solid connection. Sometimes even installing the joist hangers upside down can give you better tensioning strength to that blocking from the wall wobbling. It just gives you better tension. So it's as easy as that, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Instagram. I'm Rob Robillard, and we'll see you next time here at Concord Carpenter.